Hi guys, I'm Greg Sokin and you're watching Shine On Media. What's the point of making all of this money? You can't connect with the people that you love. Well, I thought there were many themes of the movie that I responded to. One was that if you have money, I think it's important to act in a proper way and act in a classy way um, and not be entitled and not just kind of go through your years being wild and, and not caring about other people. Then on the other hand, if you're on the other end of the spectrum, spectrum financially, I think it's important to see some of these people's lives and realize that everybody has a tough life, everybody has their own problems and their own secrets, but sometimes the rich even have more, you know, and it's, uh, it's sometimes a bit more twisted than what people think. I think my definition of affluenza is, you know, a disease where people are consumed by earning as much money as possible, which I think is a disease because I think if you focus completely on money, then you don't appreciate the kind of simple things in life. Not that I'm like some, you know, God that's trying to like bring some light on the world, but I think it's important to be also nice to people and also look around and appreciate things, you know, because if you're too concentrated on, um, on money, you're going to end up like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Wolf of Wall Street, i.e. maybe in prison. Well, I'm from New York, Long Island. That's my New York Long Island accent. Yeah, you wanna like walk the dog or something? How's that? I like it, it's very like, it's, char it's a charming accent. Oh, you stop it, you. I think the best quality is that he is very loyal and very loving. That's the word, he's crying out for love, basically. I think the worst quality is he's very insecure and he needs people's approval to kind of feel good about himself which is kind of why dylan goes on a very dark path towards the end of the movie temptations no uh i've always been quite a strong character in my eyes you know when you're 15 and your friends are hanging you know passing around cigarettes i've never been the one to say yes or take drugs it doesn't really interest me um but pressures of course you know you know if you have a meeting at eight o'clock in the morning and all your friends are going out to one o'clock in the morning obviously as a young kid you want to experience life you want to hang out with your friends but sometimes you make sacrifices and i think in order to get to the top um and not just so much get to the top but just do the right do you know the, something to the best of your ability you have to make sacrifices otherwise your life becomes one big party and then you know you don't actually appreciate the parties because you're out all the time so, so yeah, pressures, you know, of course, at 17 years old, I moved to the States by myself. It's not, um, it's not the easiest decision. The one thing I loved about this movie was the cast. Um, I remember looking around on set and I think since we've shot the movie, the, every, all the cast's kind of resumes speak for themselves and what they've been up to. Um, Nicola's been doing fantastic. Grant's doing fantastic. He has his own TV show. Ben is now on a fantastic and very well respected TV show. And I remember looking around and thinking, this could be, and obviously excluding myself out of this crop, you know, but I did look around and think these guys are so talented and, and this movie could be the next crop and the next generation of, of huge stars. So I really hope all of them continue to kind of, including myself, keep um, working hard and, and, and doing amazing things in regards to like career work because I think all, 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 all of them um, have the capability of going extremely far and, and for staying in the industry as well. Honestly, I think we're the worst generation ever to exist. Um, I think we're the most selfish. I think we're the most entitled, definitely. Friendships don't really matter. Um, loyalty doesn't matter. I think it's just a very, I think honestly we live in a very sad society and I think if it continues to go this way, there's going to be a lot of funerals, um, a lot of empty funerals, which is very sad and I don't want to be like a downer, but I do think the technology, as amazing as it is, um, is absolutely horrendous for our society and our well-being. You know, if you go on a subway, for example, people think it's quite weird that I talk to them. Like, I'm only asking how your day is and they think I'm like, trying to find out everything about their life so um so yeah i think that's something that if, if we could change it would be amazing but you know apple kind of control everyone's lives now so it's very tough
2008, I was still in England. I was doing my A levels, having an argument with my headmaster, who's you know your, the principal, and he told me that in order to stay at the school, I had to quit acting. Um, and I told him that I completely disagree with what he had to say because I think the whole point of school is to kind of let students go and find their own path. But I think he was more worried about his own school than actually his students. So um, hopefully I proved him wrong. I want the viewers to take away that it's very important to be a good person. Um, really appreciate what's going on around you. Really appreciate your friends. Really appreciate um, life. You know, in my opinion, have a half glass full mentality. I think that that's the best thing because life isn't per perfect. Recessions do happen. There will be more. Um, and through hard times, when the chips are down, you really see people's true colors. And I think this movie kind of shows that about who, who jumps and who survives, you know? Uh, so I think it's very important to be strong, you know, whether it's on a smaller scale, if you're having troubles at school, be strong. It's not, it's not the end of the world. You'll get through it. So, um, so probably that I want people to take that away from the movie. I try not to judge my characters. So Fisher's tops in my book. Oh, really? <laughs> really? May maybe uh, at times he can be a bit narcissistic. And I know a lot of people have worries about uh, about us living up to the old show, but really there's there's no comparison. You know, the old show was the old show, and this is a new show. 